What is up you guys? I'm very excited about this video today. Um, I'm gonna be talking about my personal absolute favorite Polaroid camera and that is this Polaroid 600 SE. Um, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about where I found this camera. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about how the camera works and what it actually shoots. Um, and then we are gonna go through all of my favorite, well not all because there's a lot, but we will definitely go through some of my favorite Polaroids that I've taken with this specific camera. Um, and hopefully you guys can get a little insight as to why I love this thing because it is absolutely insane. All right, so to start off, I found this camera while I was on tour with Lord. Uh, we were, I believe, in Detroit, Michigan, uh, touring on the melodrama tour around the States. Uh, you have a lot of off time when you're uh, on tour, you kind of just kind of sit around most of the day waiting for the show to happen. So I looked up a camera shop and I walked on over to it. And when I walked in there, this thing was gloriously sitting on the shelf, just waiting for me to buy it. And I was like, where's that camera from? Can I please have it? Uh, they told me that a man came in prior and left it on the shelf for 24 hours. He said, I'm only going to leave this here for 24 hours. If it doesn't sell, I want it back. And uh, luckily I went in there and I spooked it. And now it is mine. My, my, my baby. My baby is a little bit different from your typical Polaroid camera that you guys have probably used before. I know a lot of people use the Instax camera, which is uh, pretty much you just point, shoot, you get a Polaroid, it comes out, it goes makes that weird sound, it comes out. This is a little bit different. So this Polaroid camera actually uses a different film stock. It's called a FP100C. And what this film is, is it's a pull away film. So when you take a photo, uh, you actually have to pull the slide out. When you pull out this Polaroid from the camera, it goes through a roller and the roller actually pops this uh, gel. It's really like a developer and it spreads it evenly. So it goes when you pull it out. So let's say here's your camera, you pull it out and when you pull it, all the developer spreads over the image. Um, and that is what actually develops the image. So it sits inside of that, that Polaroid and you have to let it sit for X amount of time, however long you're supposed to. And it says right here, depending on the temperature and um, where you're at, how long you let it sit. Uh, I typically just let it sit there for five minutes. I don't even touch it. And then I open it up. When you open it up, there's all that developer still on the sides and stuff. And it's, it's really, it's an it's a interesting experience if you have never done that before. Not to mention that this camera actually is all manual. Uh, you guys can't tell right now, but you can switch out these lenses and on, on each of these lenses, there's like aperture, shutter, um, focus length. And then you have to go through and set all those with the light meter before you can actually take an image. So this is a very, very, very manual camera, 100% manual. Focus is manual, aperture settings manual, shutter speed manual. And it's extremely exciting to get a cool image out of this. So when you hit like the correct focus and you get the right shutter speed, uh, it turns out to be a very, very, very great image and really, really rewarding. You have to be very patient. So whoever I'm posing with or whoever I'm working with at the time, I am very clear that this camera is not something that you can just shoot and be done with. Um, it's something you have to like take your time with and be delicate with. Uh, so a lot of the times people don't love to use it because it takes so much time to like really nail it and get it correct. But I absolutely love this thing. Um, it's one of my favorite cameras I own and it's very, very fun to shoot with. So yeah, obviously you guys can see some of the B-roll of uh, how beautiful this thing is and the build quality. It is heavy. It is very, very, very heavy. This is a solid piece of equipment. So I'm gonna cock the shutter for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shutter sound. Here you go, ready? One, two. You hear that? Such a pretty sound. It's like the most beautiful shutter ever. Uh, the reason I can do that is because I have a slide in here, a dark slide, so it doesn't affect any of the film that I have in here. Because you don't want to waste this film. This film is going online right now for about $100 a pack. Each cartridge of this film only has 10 photos, so $100, you do the math, $10 a photo. You do not want to waste these. Um, I will take a photo for you guys so that I can show how it peels away. And Next up, I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite images that I've taken with this thing. This box, by the way, is full of all my Polaroids I've taken over the years. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Oh, look at that. There are so many Polaroids in this box. It's impossible to go through them all right now. So I have picked out a very generous section of my favorite images that I've taken with this Polaroid camera. So this first Polaroid is a photo of my friend Jim and Ray. Um, this is in New York City. Uh, and yeah, I just love the way it turned out. New York City, beautiful, very cool. Um, hard to beat New York. 
This next photo is a photo I took of Lord. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where this photo was taken. I can't remember what festival, but the Ferris wheel in the background, she's standing there all cool. Looks kind of rad. Um, hard to shoot concerts with a Polaroid. Very, very difficult to shoot concerts with film in general, let alone to shoot it with a Polaroid is like absolutely impossible. This photo is from Mallorca, Spain, on the island of Mallorca, right off the south of Spain. And it is beautiful. The island is incredible. And this photo is a hike we did, me and Lord, um, in the middle of nowhere. This next image is a photo I took of a concert. This is a very difficult image to get, if you can imagine, because I had held the shutter for probably half a second, a whole second, and it's still in focus with like the, the lights from the phones in the background, and you can still make out what the image is. Um, shooting film like this is very difficult to do, and to get this image is very special to me. So those are a couple of my favorite um, Polaroids that I ever took with this camera so far. To be honest, I haven't been able to use this camera as much as I would like to. The film is just becoming so, so expensive that it doesn't make sense a lot of the time to waste it. Um, I wish I could shoot everything with this camera because I would, but it just does not make sense to do that. But yeah, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I wanted to share why I love this camera, the fact that I found it on tour in such a random way, um, the fact the photos look so nostalgic and so old school and, and it's fun and it's a process to create as opposed to just shooting on a digital camera and then just throwing it away. This camera was made in 1981, I believe. Uh, so this camera is almost 40 years old. 40 years old. The camera's almost 40 years old, which is crazy. And it's still in this good of condition, which is hard to come by. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little insight into my favorite Polaroid camera. Um, if you guys have a favorite Polaroid camera, please comment down below what your favorite Polaroid camera is, as well as just like your favorite image you've ever made with that camera. I'm always excited to hear the stories behind those and um, what a Polaroid camera means to you, because to me, they mean nostalgia. They mean um, getting the experience more than actually just taking a photo to take a photo. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, uh, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Yeah.